Make sure to stand till the end, we'll explain what can easily cost that code that most people never check and it's something little that costs only a few dollars and you're supposed to replace it quite often. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo, guys. You have check engine light on and code P0171. This one, uh, code is really hard to fix in some cases. We'll explain about things that can cause it that most people, okay, will never even think about. So make sure to stay until the end. We'll cover super helpful information. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money. So let's start on it now. So we'll be demonstrating on a Fiat 500 the bar. Now talking about that Fiat guys, okay that's a Fiat here and uh, practically Fiat Alpha they're built by the Chrysler Corporation now they own them so uh, they're practically the same company guys with different names for instance that same four cylinder engine has been used in at least six Fiat models four Alfa Romeo models and different uh, Dodge and Jeep models here in the United States as well so Talking about now code P0171, what can cause on any Fiat Alfa Romeo that code P0171? Number one thing, you have upstream oxygen sensor, this is known also oxygen, as oxygen sensor bank 1, sensor 1, or lambda sensor 1. The purpose of that sensor, it's on the exhaust manifold, before the catalytic converter, it detects how much fuel and air you still have in the exhaust after everything burns through the engine. It will send that information to the engine computer, which will say, okay, we have a lean or rich fuel mixture. So having code P0171 can easily be triggered by bad oxygen sensor that's not reading correctly we will have video on the channel how to test oxygen sensor on fiat alfa romeo and it will teach you how to do that number two guys okay something else if it's not oxygen sensor what else can cause it there are two conditions that can trigger code p0171 which means lean fuel mixture the lean fuel mixture practically means that the engine is getting more air and uh, 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 two things can cause it more air and the same amount of fuel or the same amount of air and less fuel both of these conditions will result into having a bigger percentage of air than the engine needs and as a result you get that code it can be triggered by the fuel delivery system if you have plugged up fuel filter it may not deliver enough fuel and the engine is struggling for, for, for fuel number two weak fuel pump Number three, dirty fuel injectors that are not spraying enough fuel. Number four, guys, it could be triggered by having water in your gasoline. Having water in your fuel can easily cause that cold as well because uh, the injectors will not spray uh, uh, so much fuel because the water kind of like gets trapped because it's heavier than fuel, guys, and it may not go through the injectors correctly as well. Next, uh, the other case where you get more air but the, the same amount of fuel can be caused by vacuum leaks now that's where things get interesting vacuum leaks are really hard to fix sometimes we have a special video that talks about vacuum leaks on fiat alfa romeo on uh, on our channel check it out but it's uh, any place where the engine can develop a vacuum leak is practically a place where it can get extra air and it doesn't know of it could be anywhere you have a vacuum hose that's cracked uh, loose hose clamps, okay, cracked intake boots, multiple things can cause that. But something that most people will never check, it's a PCV valve. PCV valve that's stuck open can cause vacuum leak and that cold. And this PCV valve costs only a few dollars and you're supposed to change it quite often. Check your service manual and you will see that. Another thing, it could be the purge control valve that's stuck open that can cause vacuum leak as well but check out our video about vacuum leaks it will give you detailed explanations of where you can develop vacuum leaks hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time